Hey everybody, Paul here. Hey, I want to wish everybody a safe, happy Labor Day weekend. Be careful driving out there in the roads, okay? Um, you want to know what really grinds my gears is the crap motor oil that's being sold out there. And basically what I want to talk to you about today is why I switched from uh, conventional motor oil to 100% synthetic motor oil. So this probably happened like tw over 20 years ago. I was sitting in a car shop having my brakes worked on and I looked over on the wall and there was this gigantic poster and the poster said something like the only oil used in jet engines is 100% synthetic because they cost millions of dollars. Well, it really caught my attention. So I went over to the poster um, to read it more in depth and it said that uh, well, it had this long list of the advantages of using 100% synthetic oil over conventional oil. It said that it caused less wear on parts, didn't break down to heat as quickly, cooled better, retained lubricating properties longer, lubricated better because it's thinner, caused less friction, didn't thicken in cold temperatures, which reduces engine wear during, during cold starts, reduces sludge buildup, lasts much longer, requiring fewer oil changes, saving money, and it gives better gas mileage. So I have to tell you that ever since that day, I've used nothing but 100% synthetic oil. Um, I've also learned since then that there's actually 100% there's actually synthetic oil out there that can go 25,000 miles in your car's engine and 100,000 miles in your car's transmission. That is crazy. Um, I've also learned since then that the particles of conventional oil on a molecular level, they're all shaped unevenly like a piece of gravel. Okay, how'd you like that to be made up of your oil? Okay, whereas 100% synthetic oil on a molecular level is shaped perfectly like a round, it'd be like a round ball bearing. So just pretend like you got, pretend you got your, my hands here are like uh, parts in your engine. Well, here's your conventional motor oil and here's your parts going back and forth. Okay. Wow, that looks really great. Now, here's your 100% synthetic motor oil on a molecular level. All right. Here's your parts going back and forth. I mean, it's a no-brainer. That's what's going on. It's a no-brainer. Um, it's as clear as the nose on your face what you want. And um, just a couple other stories. I knew a very knowledgeable mechanic, and he said that if you actually, uh, if you take 100% synthetic oil and put it in a brand new engine, he said the engine actually it won't break in and the, the parts won't seat properly. Uh, he said it's that good of a product. So there was another time I was talking to a gentleman and he had a Chrysler car. It had 80,000 miles on it. And he, there, I guess he had to have some recall work done in his transmission. So the bottom line is um, he had the work done. And when he came in to pick up the car, the mechanic came up to him and he said, you know, what kind of oil are you using in your transmission? And he said, I'm using 100% synthetic. And he said, well, he said, there is there is no wear on your transmission. The mechanic was uh, just really s surprised. So I thought that was a really interesting story when this guy told me this. And I've read stories about uh, truckers who they're putting over a million miles on their engines and transmissions uh, with 100% synthetic. So I just kind of like to wrap it up by saying synthetic oil, it, it isn't just for your car engine and your transmission. It's also used in, you know, motorcycles, jet skis, four-wheelers, snowmobiles, boats, all your lawn and garden equipment. Actually, you should be able to find a synthetic oil for whatever lubrication need that you have. So my recommendation to everyone out there is to make the switch to 100% synthetic oil, start saving money with fewer oil changes, 
and make your investment last a lot longer. So God bless you. Have a great day. Bye for now. Feel free to comment.